In today's video, let's have a look on how we can use light leaks more creatively. With the help of a light leak, we can create interesting vignettes, highlight parts of an image, and finally, I will show you how you can fine tune a light leak for your image. Let's get started with the first image. Let's first enable the light effect layer. This will cover up the image, but if we put the blend mode to screen, which is basically what you normally do with a light leak layer, we get this nice blend of light. However, I want to use this light leak to create a vignette. For this, I'm going to modify the blend range of the light leak layer. Let's lower the shadows and keep the midtones and highlights. The idea is now to use the light leak as a mask. To create a mask, we first click on the thumbnail of the layer with command or control pressed. This will create a selection of the layer. Next, I will duplicate the image and press the mask button. Because we have a selection, Affinity will use the current selection as a mask. Excellent! Let's turn off the marching ends by pressing command or control D which will deselect the selection. I can now turn off the light leak and if I also turn off the bottom image layer, we can see what our selection looks like. Nice! I will turn back on the bottom layer and change the blend mode of the layer with the mask to soft light. Beautiful! But, as I was going for a vignette, I actually need the opposite. Instead of the center of the image being amplified, I want the outer border to be amplified. I can easily do this by inverting the mask. To invert the mask, select it and press Command or Control I. Beautiful! We now have a very nice natural looking vignette. Usually vignettes have an oval shape. But using a light leak and this technique, we can get more organic vignettes. Let's move to the next example. Here, I will use the light leak to brighten up the subject so it will get more attention. Let me first remove the effect layers and start from scratch. So this is our light leak layer. I'm going to set its blend mode to screen so we have an idea what is being affected. As I want the subject to be highlighted, I will now rotate and move the light leak to the position where the subject will be highlighted. Excellent! Just like the previous example, we need to adjust its blend range. This looks about right. Now to get the mask. Same steps. Command or Control click on the layer thumbnail to get a selection. Once we have our selection, we can duplicate the image and apply a mask while the selection is active. Let's get rid of the selection by pressing Command or Control D and hide the light leak layer. To highlight the subject, I can now put the layer with the mask to screen blend mode. Perfect! Finally, as an optional step, we can add a brightness and contrast adjustment and move it as a clip child to the image layer with the mask. I will now put the contrast all the way to the max and have a look at that. Pretty awesome! especially if we compare with the before. This is a great way of using the natural shine of a light leak to brighten up a subject. Let's move to our final example. In this example, I want to use a light leak to make the image more interesting. Let's remove all the effect layers first and start again from scratch. If I enable the light leak right now and set its blend mode to screen, we get a typical light leak effect. However, I'm not happy with the color. The light leak I have used has a purplish reddish color. So I'm going to apply the light leak in a different manner, which I think will suit this image much better. I will open up the blend ranges of the light leak and then remove the shadows. I can now apply the same trick by making a selection from the light leak layer then making a duplicate of the image and apply a mask. As I don't need the selection anymore, we can just deselect it and also hide the light leak. If I put the layer with the mask to screen blend mode, I get the effect of the light leak without the colors. Pretty cool! Next, I'm going to add a fill layer and make it a clip child of the image with the mask. This way, I can give it a color, but first, I will change the blend mode of the fill layer to hard light, as this works best in this case. 
I can now adjust the color to my liking. This looks perfect. And there we have it, our own colored light league, which suits the image much better. If you want to experiment, you can also use a gradient for the fill layer to get an interesting result. Before I leave you, let me share a quick technique to make the image even more awesome. I'm going to make a copy of the original image and put it on top. I will also duplicate the fill layer and move it on the duplicate I just created. Select both layers and group them. Now, time for some blend magic. I'm going to change the blend range of the image and filter out the highlights. Nice, now we have a yellow orange tint in the image. To blend this in, I will set the blend mode of the group to reflect and change the blend range to dim it down. As a final step, as the effect is too strong, I will lower the opacity to 40%. Awesome, have a look at the before and the after. We have introduced the color from the light leak into the image, which really finished the effect. We can also play with the opacities of the adjustments we have created to fine tune everything until we are happy. As nothing was destructive, you can easily modify the settings to give it a look you're looking for. For example, I can change the color of the fill layer. I hope you liked this video and found it interesting. If so, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and until the next video.